Okay, so if you wanted to actually um, create a proposal or a yeah proposal to send to a customer, you'd click here, you'd go to proposal. You'd click on new proposal. You'd start with a subject. So let's say this is a quote for cleaning a building. Um, it has to be related to either a lead or a customer. So let's say it's related to a lead in this case, which in most cases will be who things are related to, not an existing customer, but a lead in the system. Your dates go through. You then can add items. So let's say there's nothing. At, um, the item you want is not there. So then you could add an item, let's say, test. And that costs 1599. You save that. Okay. Let's do that again. Test two. That item costs two nine nine. You save that. Okay. So now we have items. We know what we're going to quote on. We save that. Ah, it has to have an email in it. Just put an email in for now. Okay, so in the proposal, we have the leads information, our information, and we have the proposed items there, which is part of your merge fields. So you'll see my cursor is before the proposed items, and I'm going to say, Dear John, thank you for your call today. Here is your quote. The proposed items will be your your quote after that i would like to add in some additional text so for me that text would be the benefits of cleaning for example now normally i could paste that text here or if I know I'm going to reuse that text, then I should give it a name. And instead, create it as a template. So that the next time, so let me go and add that as a template now. The reason I want to create it as a template is so that the next time I need to use it, it's there as well. So let's say this is just me ending off uh, my proposal and this is just stuff I want the customer to see and I'll say kind regards um, cleaning all name of my company. Now let's have a look at what this actually looks like. So we go up here. So there we go to more and review the proposal. So yeah, you could see this is exactly what the client will open up and they'll see as what's there. So you could put a lot more information up front there. Uh, they can accept or decline it or they could discuss the matter with you. And you could therefore have um, messages going back and forth and defining the proposal in the system. Uh, if you are not happy with what you see and you want to add in some text, some more text, you can then come back here and you can amend it and then view the proposal again. And now suddenly you see it looks a little different. Let's say you want to go back and you actually want to add in an image before uh, the proposal comes through. So let's go look for an image. We're basically going into our current files 
if the files that you have there you're not happy with, you can upload a file as well, or you could just select one of yours that you have there. And let's see. So that would be you inserting an image, and you can make that image smaller. You can centralize it. You can place it towards the end. It depends completely how you'd want that image to look. Yeah. Okay, let's go view the proposal again. Here you can see what your proposal looks like. Of course, we don't have to have it um, end or the end. You can just you can revise that again in terms of where proposed items are. Let's say I want to make that actually be on top and not at the bottom anymore. And just cut proposed items out and now I'm going to paste it on top. So this is what my proposal could look like again. So you control um, what's being shaped around the proposal and through the system once you're happy you then can go ahead and you can click send to customer and automatically you'll see the template pop up here uh, the customer's email address is the main email address and you can cc anybody else that you'd want to in this mix your choice and then you can click on send and it will be sent